Boeing will have to pay to fix two new technical problems afflicting the KC-46 refueling tanker, which the U.S. Air Force has designated as Category 1 deficiencies that rank among the program's most critical issues. The Air Force has discovered that drain tubes in the KC-462's air refueling receptacle, which are used to remove water from the aircraft, can become cracked when the tanker operates in cold temperatures, the service stated in response to questions from Defense News. According to the service, this issue has occurred approximately three times, when water in the tubes froze and expanded, forming cracks. The second problem involves a software bug in the KC-462's flight management system, which has triggered navigation anomalies, according to Boeing. The German Defense Ministry has forwarded a request to lawmakers seeking approval for almost 4.5 billion euros, or $5.3 billion, that would pay for the country's contributions to the next stage of the future combat air system. Lawmakers on the Bundestag's Budget and Defense Committees are scheduled to consider the request next week. It covers a collection of research and technology development activities, collectively dubbed Phases 1b and 2, between 2021 and 2027. During that time, officials want to begin regular test flights with a demonstrator, constructed under the auspices of France's Dassault Aviation. The spending request comes after France categorically rejected an intermediate bridging phase in the German-Franco-Spanish program, according to the justification package forwarded by the finance ministry. Berlin had floated such a scenario given that the coronavirus pandemic has delayed completion of a joint concept study, as well as the ongoing development, known as Phase 1A. To further modernize its military, the Canadian government is spending $186 million for the purchase and in-service support of three new tactical control radars. Two contracts have been awarded to defense company Thales Canada Inc. for radar systems to detect and identify potential threats in Canadian and North American airspace. The equipment can also be deployed around the world to support operations and training exercises of the Canadian Armed Forces, according to Public Services and Procurement Canada. Delivery of the new tactical radars is expected to begin in 2023. They will replace the existing Northrop Grumman TPS 70s stationed in Alberta and Quebec. The new radars will be ready to accommodate changing technology and improve the systems throughout their life cycle, leading to an overall reduction of life cycle costs. For several years now Libya has been involved in a civil war between the Government of National Accord, NA, based in Tripoli and the House of Representatives based in Tabriz, which you may have seen commonly referred to as the LNA, due to the Libyan National Army, doing the majority of the fighting for the House of Representatives. More recently it has been noted that the Royal Air Force has been making C-17 flights from Riz Norton to Libya, with C-17s landing at air bases near Tripoli within NA-controlled territory. The earliest of these flights that can be found took place on January 20, and the most recent at the time of the article was on May 29. A commonality amongst all of these flights is that they are all in and out of Libya within a few hours and have all taken place during the night. While it isn't possible to tell the exact nature of the flight as the Ministry of Defense was contacted about the nature of flights. 173 proud graduates of the Royal Australian Naval College, rank, dressed sharply in winter ceremonial uniforms, have marked the end of five months of training with the graduation of New Entry Officers Course, NEOC, 64. Hosted on the quarterdeck of HMAS Cresswell on the shores of Jervis Bay, the graduation marked the culmination of intensive preparation to join the wider Navy environment. This included developing the skills and attitudes necessary to become effective leaders, including communication techniques, basic mariner skills, sea survivability, combat survivability such as firefighting and flood safety, weapons handling and physical training. Governor-General of the Commonwealth of Australia, Rhett, General David Hurley was the reviewing officer of Navy's newest leaders, with Acting Chief of Navy, Rear Admiral Chris Smith, also in attendance. Rank Commanding Officer Commander David Shervington said watching the trainees grow both professionally and personally had been rewarding for him and his staff. 